Are you looking for a freedom in this crazy pace world? Maybe some homesteading and off-grid guidance? Maybe you're sitting on the edge of fear wanting to embrace a homesteading and off-grid lifestyle, but you're just not sure what the first step is. My name is Tammy Trier. I'm the co-founder at Trier Wilderness Academy, and I'd like to help you on this journey. My family and I embarked on our off-grid journey in 2010. We traveled 2,500 miles and arrived at a raw, overgrown piece of wilderness land. We set up a canvas wall tent, and we lived in that for eight and a half months while we built our homestead and our home. We found that freedom that we were looking for, and that's what I want to share with you. That freedom doesn't necessarily mean that you need to homestead or live off the grid. Honestly, I think it's a mindset. So join me on a short walk while I share some more with you. I've brought you to one of my favorite places. What does that mindset look like? To my family, it's living with intention. Living based on our terms, not society's terms, not the Joneses' terms, our terms, what we need and want to achieve for ourselves and our family. These are realistic goals. These are realistic things. This can be accomplished. For some of you, you might be scratching your head and wondering how with this crazy pace that you're in and all your responsibilities, how that can be achieved. Well, that's our goal. At Trier Wilderness Academy, we want to be able to teach people foundational skills that will help you to embrace and successfully accomplish anything you set your mind to. It's possible. It's living a life of preparedness. What does that mean? That means every day doing something that will help put you into tomorrow and into your future. We don't just talk the talk. My family and I walk the walk. Just as an example, in 2016, I had life-saving surgery. I was flat on my back from January to almost July, and I'm still on a healing journey. But we went six and a half months without an income. We never were cold, our woodshed was full. We had a roof over our head, and we never went without a meal. As a matter of fact, we had enough to gift others during our valley, and we had plenty to move forward. It's not just living day to day. That level of preparedness can help you in such great ways. And that's what we want to teach people. We feel so led to help others embrace their dreams, embrace preparedness, and, and to give them the skills and the mindset to successfully accomplish everything that you embark on. So let's take another short walk and I'll share some more with you. It's learning the skills necessary to save yourself money and to be able to do things for yourself. What a feeling of freedom. What a, what a great self-reliant way to live. Being able to fix what's broken and create what's necessary. The cabin behind me, we built with the logs from our land, the trees from our land. My husband built a sawmill. We milled those logs square, beveled them, and built that traditionally with our own hands. Being able to do these things is such a blessing and such a time saver, such a money saver, and what a great way for your family to bond. It's having animals on the homestead that bring joy and humor. It can also provide you with food. It's gardening and harvesting from your garden and learning to preserve all your food on the shelf and enjoying and being blessed by those preserved foods all winter long. It's foraging from the wild. It's harvesting your meats from the wild and knowing that you're getting meats that are pure and not tainted. It's learning traditional skills that would otherwise be lost. Blacksmithing, brain tanning hides. It's learning to live off the land. It's being able to switch gears and go from a chainsaw to a two-man saw and a one-man saw and knowing how to take care of those tools and sharpen those saws. It's learning to fell trees on your property. It's learning to utilize the resources around you, living off the land. It's wilderness survival skills. 
learning to take care of yourself if your car breaks down and you're in the middle of nowhere or if you live like we do in a very vast location it's being able to take care of yourself it's the comfort you get from knowing that your children know those skills and when they've gone lost you know that they'll be able to take care of themselves it's raising children on a homestead and giving them such an amazing opportunity for a life outside of society's walls. Allowing our children to be educated and grow, grow outside of themselves. Our son is high functioning autistic. He's overcome 98% of his autism and Asperger tendencies through our homesteading lifestyle, our homeschooling, natural supplements, essential oils, and a lot of stepping out of his comfort zone. Our mountain boy is a licensed Idaho driver. He's learning how to ride a motorcycle. He's learning and apprenticing for small motor repair. Sky's the limit. That's all he knows. It's providing a wholesome environment for your family regardless where you are. And living by your terms. Living with intention. Living a lifestyle of preparedness so you can be self-reliant. So join us at the Treyer Wilderness Academy for our Skill of the Month membership where we will be teaching you each month a new skill that will help you to embrace a more self-reliant and preparedness lifestyle and to give you the encouragement and the inspiration you need to live with intention, to live life under your terms. Do you know, the best parts of life are on the other side of our comfort zone. So rather than living in fear, take that first step and start embracing life on your terms and be prepared for whatever life throws your way and know how to cope with the unexpected. So join us at Treyer Wilderness Academy. It would be our pleasure to not only get to know you, but to help you on your journey. God bless.